Theochromocytoma, Wikipedia article audio. Theochromocytoma is a neuroendocrine tumor of the medulla of the adrenal glands, or extra-adrenal chromaffin tissue that failed to involute after birth, that secretes high amounts of catecholamines, mostly norepinephrine, plus epinephrine to a lesser extent. Extra-adrenal paragangliomas are closely related, though less common. Tumors that originate in the ganglia of the sympathetic nervous system and are named based upon the primary anatomical site of origin. The term is from Greek phios dark, chroma color, kytos cell, oma tumor. Signs and Symptoms The signs and symptoms of a pheochromocytoma are those of sympathetic nervous system hyperactivity, including a pheochromocytoma can also cause resistant arterial hypertension. A pheochromocytoma can be fatal if it causes a hypertensive emergency, that is, severely high blood pressure that impairs one or more organ systems. This hypertension is not well controlled with standard blood pressure medications. Cause not all patients experience all of the signs and symptoms listed. The most common presentation is headache, excessive sweating, and increased heart rate, with the attack subsiding in less than one hour. Diagnosis Tumors may grow large, but most are smaller than 10 cm. Testing up to 25% of pheochromocytomas may be familial. Mutations of the genes VHL, RET, NF1, SDHB and SDHD are all known to cause familial pheochromocytoma, therefore this disease may be accompanied by von Hippel-Lindau disease, neurofibromatosis, or familial paraganglioma depending on the mutation. Tumor Location Pheochromocytoma is a tumor of the multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome, type IIA, and type IIB. The other component neoplasms of that syndrome include parathyroid adenomas, and medullary thyroid cancer. Mutations in the autosomal RET proto-oncogene drives these malignancies. Common mutations in the RET oncogene may also account for medullary sponge kidney as well. Differential Diagnosis Pheochromocytoma linked to MEN2 can be caused by RET oncogene mutations. Both syndromes are characterized by pheochromocytoma as well as thyroid cancer. MEN IIA also presents with hyperparathyroidism while men IIB also presents with mucosal neuroma. The diagnosis can be established by measuring catecholamines and metanephrines in plasma or through a 24-hour urine collection. Care should be taken to rule out other causes of adrenergic excess like hypoglycemia, stress, exercise, and drugs affecting the catecholamines like stimulants, methyl dopa, dopamine agonists, or ganglion blocking antihypertensives. Various foodstuffs can also affect the levels of urinary metanephrine and VMA. Treatment Prognosis Complications Epidemiology Imaging by computed tomography or a T2 weighted MRI of the head, neck, and chest and abdomen can help localize the tumor. Tumors can also be located using an MIBG scan, which is scintigraphy using iodine-123 marked metaeodobenzyl geoanidine. Even finer localization can be obtained in certain PET scan centers using PET CT or PET MRI with fluorodopamine or FDOPA. Pheochromocytomas occur most often during young adult to mid-adult life. These tumors can form a pattern with other endocrine gland cancers which is labeled multiple endocrine neoplasia. 
Theochromocytoma may occur in patients with MEN2 and MEN3. Von Hippel-Lindau patients may also develop these tumors. Patients experiencing symptoms associated with theochromocytoma should be aware that it is rare. However, it often goes undiagnosed until autopsy, therefore patients might wisely choose to take steps to provide a physician with important clues, such as recording whether blood pressure changes significantly during episodes of apparent anxiety. Micrograph of Theochromocytoma Micrograph of Theochromocytoma Micrograph of Theochromocytoma Bilateral Theochromocytoma in MEN2 Theochromocytoma CT Abdomen Skin sensations, flank pain, elevated heart rate, elevated blood pressure, including paroxysmal high blood pressure, which sometimes can be more difficult to detect. Another clue to the presence of theochromocytoma is orthostatic hypotension, palpitations, anxiety often resembling that of a panic attack, diaphoresis, headaches most common symptom, pallor, weight loss, localized amyloid deposits found microscopically, elevated blood glucose level leading to high levels of free fatty acids and the subsequent inhibition of glucose uptake by muscle cells. Further, stimulation of beta-adrenergic receptors leads to glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis and thus elevation of blood glucose levels. Theochromocytoma CT Abdomen In adults, approximately 80% of theochromocytomas are unilateral and solitary, 10% are bilateral, and 10% are extraadrenal. In children, a quarter of tumors are bilateral, and an additional quarter are extraadrenal. Solitary lesions inexplicably favor the right side. Although pheochromocytomas may grow to large size, most weigh 10 cm in diameter. Pheochromocytomas are highly vascular. The tumors are made up of large, polyhedral, pleomorphic chromaffin cells. Fewer than 10% of these tumors are malignant. As with several other endocrine tumors, malignancy cannot be determined from the histologic appearance, tumors that contain large number of aneuploid or tetraploid cells, as determined by flow cytometry, are more likely to recur. Local invasion of surrounding tissues or distant metastases indicate malignancy. Extraadrenal pheochromocytomas Extraadrenal pheochromocytomas usually weigh 20 to 40 grams and are 5 cm in diameter. Most are located within the abdomen in association with the celiac, superior mesenteric, and inferior mesenteric ganglia and the organ of Zucker candle. Approximately 10% are in the thorax, 1% are within the urinary bladder, and less than 3% are in the neck usually in association with the sympathetic ganglia or the extracranial branches of the ninth cranial nerves. The differential diagnoses of pheochromocytoma include Surgical resection of the tumor is the treatment of first choice, either by open laparotomy or laparoscopy. Given the complexity of perioperative management, and the potential for catastrophic intra- and post-operative complications, such surgery should be performed only at centers experienced in the management of this disorder. In addition to the surgical expertise that such centers can provide, they will also have the necessary endocrine and anesthesia resources. It may also be necessary to carry out adrenalectomy a complete surgical removal of the affected adrenal gland. 
Either surgical option requires prior treatment with the nonspecific and irreversible alpha adrenoceptor blocker phenoxybenzamine or a short acting alpha antagonist. Doing so permits the surgery to proceed while minimizing the likelihood of severe intraoperative hypertension. Some authorities would recommend that a combined alpha-slash-beta blocker such as labetalol also be given in order to slow the heart rate. Regardless, a non-selective beta-adrenergic receptor blocker such as propranolol must never be used in the presence of a pheochromocytoma. The mechanism for beta-adrenoceptor blocker-associated adverse events is generally ascribed to inhibition of beta-2-adrenoceptor-mediated vasodilatation, leaving alpha-1-adrenoceptor-mediated vasoconstrictor responses to catecholamines unopposed and, thus, severe and potentially refractory hypertension. However some clinical guidelines permit beta-1 blockade use together with alpha blockers during surgery for control of tachycardia. The patient with pheochromocytoma is invariably volume depleted. In other words, the chronically elevated adrenergic state characteristic of an untreated pheochromocytoma leads to near total inhibition of renin, angiotensin activity resulting in excessive fluid loss in the urine and thus reduced blood volume. Hence, once the pheochromocytoma has been resected, thereby removing the major source of circulating catecholamines, a situation arises where there is both very low sympathetic activity and volume depletion. This can result in profound hypotension. Therefore, it is usually advised to salt load pheochromocytoma patients before their surgery. This may consist of simple interventions such as consumption of high salt food preoperatively, direct salt replacement or through the administration of intravenous saline solution. There is increased lifetime risk of secondary cancers with a slightly increased mortality risk according to a 2004 Swedish study of 481 patients. The massive release of catecholamines in pheochromocytoma can cause damage to heart cells. This damage may be due to either compromising the coronary microcirculation or by direct toxic effects on the heart cells. Pheochromocytoma is seen in between 2 and 8 in 1 million, with approximately 1,000 cases diagnosed in United States yearly. It mostly occurs in young or middle-age adults, though it presents earlier in hereditary cases. In 1886, Felix Frankel made the first description of a patient with pheochromocytoma. The term pheochromocytoma was first coined by Ludwig Pick, a pathologist, in 1912. In 1926, César Roux and Charles Horace Mayo were the first surgeons to successfully remove pheochromocytomas. In the 1970s, Green and Tischler derived a line of cells, called the PC-12 cell line, from a rat pheochromocytoma. History Notes Anxiety disorders, including benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome, paragangliomas, von Hippel-Lindau disease, essential hypertension, hyperthyroidism, insulinoma, mercury poisoning, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia renovascular hypertension, carcinoid. About 10% of adrenal cases are bilateral, about 10% of adrenal cases occur in children, about 15% are extra-adrenal, of these 9% are in the abdomen, and 1% are located elsewhere. Some extra-adrenal pheochromocytomas are probably actually paragangliomas, but the distinction can only be drawn after surgical resection, about 11.1% of adrenal cases are malignant, but this rises to 30% for extra-adrenal cases, about 15-20% are hereditary, 
about 5% are caused by VHL disease, about 3% recur after being resected, about 14% of affected individuals do not have arterial hypertension. Medline Plus Overview Pheochromocytoma Gene Reviews Entry on Hereditary Paraganglioma Pheochromocytoma Syndromes General Information about Pheochromocytoma and Paraganglioma from the National Cancer Institute Neuroendocrine Tumor from the American Society of Clinical Oncology